We will learn how to do the composite sharing wheel analysis using hyperlinks. For that, make sure to select OptiStruct as your solver and then select OK. After that, import the sharing wheel geometry. Okay. Using a step file, make sure the imported sharing wheel geometry is a 2D surface. Close this and go to 2D Auto Mesh. Select uh, give the mesh size and is recommended. Select the surfaces that you need to mesh and mesh it. So you can see the mesh is done. Return and after that go to 2D composites in the composites element select all the elements go to element normals select normal this would select all the elements and make sure here it is auto and it's vector display and display so now you can see that I will just increase the size uh, the vectors that are drawn over here are normal to the element this decides uh, the direction in which the plies will be stacked so after that go to material orientation go to elements and select all after that uh, the material orientation gives the reference direction for the plies that are going to get stacked so if you are use, using unidirectional and after that you want to change its direction to 45 degree or that this is a reference direction so x-axis and then reject now you can see the elements have a direction and the y direction is selected and return after that right click in this section and create a material and the material as we are going to do the composite analysis the card image needs to be changed and it should be mat 8 for the fibers or you can say that the mat 8 represent the orthotropic or the anisotropic materials so as the material structure that we are using over here is 2d hence e1 and e2 are only specified and this is the material properties material XT, XC, YT and YC are the failure properties even if these properties are not mentioned it's fine ok but we have them so yeah. once up material is created create a ply so for creating the ply uh, card image color material type and the specify the material that you just created the thickness is 0 0.24 see over here you can change the orientation of the material as mentioned uh, from the reference material that was given in the material orientation okay now in the shape go to elements 
and select elements all and then proceed okay. and create this would create a plan yeah, as you can see so the all the all the plies that I'm going to use are same as a ply one so I'm selecting same ply as one and create now you can see the plies are created over here and I'm going to use around eight plies so eight plies and then cancel now you can see over here thickness is 0 0.24 the material is cf it's fine now select all of these and auto color it okay. after this create a laminate so in the laminate by laminate name is sure now over here the options here decide how the plies are going to be stacked is it like once one up and one down to the reference so we select smear we have symmetric and all then create after creating the laminate create a property yeah, in the property so in the p com that is for the composite and csp is 100 and ft select off okay after that um, the setup of the plan is done now you see the okay. now go to components right click on the property assign elements all and then proceed Okay, now go to components, steering wheel, assign, assign the property 1 and apply. Okay. The material is there. And it's done. So the setup of the composite analysis is done. In the next part, we will learn about how to give the forces and constraints thank you